Hello and welcome to the Zoll Zvent in-service demonstration. This multiple part series will provide detailed information about the Zvent portable critical care ventilator and its functionality. In this module, we will review how to start the ventilator and navigate the default menu. To turn on the ventilator, turn the power on off switch clockwise from the zero to one position. A patient or test lung should not be connected to the circuit when you first turn on the device. When the Z-Vent first powers on, it automatically performs a self-check to verify there are no pre-existing alarm conditions. If the self-check passes, the start menu will display on screen at the top left, and the LED array will alternate between yellow and green until a patient configuration is selected. The ventilator automatically mutes any potential alarms for two minutes to allow the user ample time to adjust any necessary settings. The Start menu allows the user to choose between predefined default settings for specific patient types – adult, pediatric, or patients requiring mask CPAP. Detailed information and parameter settings for each default mode can be found in the Zvent Operator's Guide. Never use the mask CPAP mode on a patient who is not spontaneously breathing or who might stop spontaneously breathing. The CPAP mode is intended for ventilatory support, not ventilation. The custom option allows the user to select a previously saved customized set of ventilation parameters. The last settings option allows the user to load the settings that were enabled on the ventilator during its most recent use even if they were not saved as the custom settings option. Use the selection dial to navigate the start menu and confirm patient selection by pressing the accept button. The ventilator will then load the corresponding default settings and be ready for use with the patient. Note, do not connect a patient to the ventilator while the start menu is active. Doing so will trigger a patient detected alarm. Proceed to connect a patient to the ventilator only after selecting a patient type from the menu and performing a successful operational test. We have now completely reviewed powering on the ventilator and navigating the startup menu. Throughout the other modules, we will continue to explore the device's functionality and how to prepare the ventilator for use.